I'm Jessica Rose, and today I'm going to teach you how to make heartthrob cupcakes. I call my red velvet cupcakes heartthrobs because, let's think about it, we have a deep red cake filled with a creamy chocolate ganache and then topped with a creamy cream cheese frosting. If that's not going to get your heart throbbing, I don't know what else will. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, for my ingredients I have two and a half cups of cake flour. I have one and a half cups of sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two tablespoons of red food dye, a teaspoon and a half of apple cider vinegar, one cup of buttermilk, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, one and a half cups of vegetable oil, and that should do it for the cake base. Okay, let's get to it. I like to start with all of my wet ingredients and then combine in my dry ingredients. So I'm gonna take my vegetable oil, pour that in to my bowl of an electric mixer, my buttermilk, my egg, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, my red food dye, Once everything is combined, we're going to add our dry ingredients. Our flour, sugar, cocoa powder, our salt and baking soda, While you're mixing, you're gonna have to scrape the sides of the bowl. You wanna make sure you combine all that flour and baking soda that creeps up there into the batter. At this point, I also save the apple cider vinegar for last. I like to create that little bubble, so I just add my teaspoon, I eyeball it. And when you mix it, you'll start to see the foam a little bit. it one last scrape and it's going into our tins. The smell of this, I tell you guys, it's amazing. You can really smell the cocoa, the vanilla, the apple cider vinegar. It's really seducing my senses, let me tell you. So we're going to place our batter into tins. You can pick any liner you want for your red velvet. I tend to go with something a little dark. Um, white tends to just turn red because the batter is so dark. I like leopard print because it's sexy and it's called a heartthrob cupcake. So let's stay with the theme, shall we? Now the best way to scoop your batter into the cupcake tins is by using an ice cream scoop. One of my favorite kitchen tools. Scoop it about two thirds full and plop it in. Even, give it a little tap on the counter and we're ready to go into the oven. Now make sure your oven is preheated to about 375 degrees and let's get it in. Now let those cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. 
you'll see they'll start to rise. They'll get really springy and puffy and they're just gonna look so moist and delicious. Okay, our cupcakes are out of the oven. They're cool. They're sitting on our cooling rack. And this is the point where we are going to drill a hole through these babies. I'm gonna take my apple corer and I'm just gonna place it in the center of the cupcake and I'm gonna go around and make a little circle in the very middle of the cupcake. And then with that, I'm going to plop the middle into a bowl. So you'll see, I have a nice hole cut out of the center. This is where our chocolate ganache is going to live. So I'm just gonna keep doing this with every cupcake. And the reason I put the holes that we cut out into a bowl is because I like to save that cake. I don't like to waste anything. And that is great for making cake pops, which I will show you in another video. Now we're gonna fill our heartthrobs with our chocolate ganache. So all you're gonna do with this is just grab a teaspoon and plop the ganache into the hole. Just enough to fill it to the top. Mmm. Divine. And it's okay if it's a little messy. The more the merrier, I say. And your cream cheese frosting is going to cover any mess. Once your cupcakes are filled with the ganache and we're ready to top them off with our cream cheese frosting. For the recipe for my cream cheese frosting, just click this link and it'll take you right to it. What you're gonna need for this is a pastry bag. You can get disposable ones, that's all I use. You fill it with the tip of your choice and snip it so you can actually get frosting out of there. I chose about a half inch diameter for my tip. I mean, of course I like them bigger, but in this purpose, this will do just fine. You're just gonna take your frosting, scoop it up and plop it in. I'm gonna have to shake it around. Don't be afraid of it. Get in there with it. All right, make sure you squeeze and twist the top so nothing's coming out where you don't want it to. We don't want a mess now, do we? All right, and now we're just going to plop on our frosting. Ready? I just hover right above the middle and squeeze. I don't move my tip up. And that will give you a nice blob on top with the curly Q. I love those curly Qs. I think they're so cute. Hover right above the ganache in the middle and squeeze. One more time. Hover and squeeze. Now I decorate my heartthrobs with chocolate jimmy. Jimmy's a sexy man, why not? And I just give it a little sprinkle. There you have it, the heartthrob cupcake. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did dig it, please subscribe to my channel, click like, and check out the link below for my blog. Thank you for watching. Bye.